In this example, we are going to attempt to find the transfer function based on a experimental body plot. This has a lot of practical applications. Imagine an electric circuit, for instance, whose transfer function is unknown. We can give the circuit a sinusoidal waveform at various frequencies, measure the output of the circuit, and based on the body plot obtained, we can find the transfer function of that unknown circuit. And this can also be applied to mechanical systems as well. This is the body plot that we obtain experimentally. What can we see here? We simply have a constant gain that is acting on the body plot. We see that it's shifted down by negative 60 decibels. And because it's a flat line, that implies that there are no zeros or poles acting at that specific range of frequencies. When you now we start to increase the frequency, we pass a first cutoff frequency at 10 to the power of negative 2, 0 0.01 radians per second. Notice that past that cutoff frequency, the body plot now starts to go up. That indicates that at that specific frequency, we have a zero. The zero has a frequency of 0 0.01 radians per second. Now we can attempt to draft our transfer function as having a zero at 0 0.01 radians per second. If you now keep increasing the frequency, what happens? You notice that the slope that was going up by a factor of 20 decibels per decade, which indicates, again, the presence of a zero, becomes flat. It became flat past a frequency of 0 0.1 radians per second because we encountered a pole. The slope was going up by 20 decibels per decade, and now it's 0 decibels per decade. So 20 decibels per decade was added to negative 20 decibels per decade. What adds negative 20 decibels per decade? A pole, of course. And the pole is located at 0 0.1 radians per second. If we now keep going up in frequencies, we see a change in the slope. The slope that was now flat becomes negative 20 decibels per decade. And this negative 20 decibels per decade added to the original slope of zero is coming from another pole. The pole here is placed at 100 radians per second. And this is the first draft of our transfer function. What is missing? Well, if you look at a low frequencies, we are not at zero. At low frequencies, we, we, we are at negative 60 decibels. This indicates that a flat line indicates that there is a gain somewhere pushing the entire body plot down and is bringing us to negative 60 decibels. What is that value? Well, we know if you add a value of k here, a constant gain, we know that this k is making everything shift down by 20, by negative 60 decibels. We have negative 60 equals to 20 log of k. We solve this, we have log of k equals to negative 3. k equals to 10 to the power of negative 3 equals to 0 0.001. We can now replace k with that value. So h of s now is 0 0.001. We can factor out 1 over. 0 0.01 this gives s plus 0 0.01 in the denominator we can factor out 1 over 0 0.1 to get s plus 0 0.1 and 1 over 100 to get s plus 100 this terms multiplied together will give 1 h of s is simply s plus 0 0.01 over s plus 0 0.1 s plus 100.